Welcome to more of our preview of the 2023 baseball season as we count down to opening day with our coaches. Very happy to have with me now PC Blue Hose head coach Elton Pollock. Coach, good morning to you. Hello and good morning. I hope everything's well at the Big South office. We're doing all right. We're getting ready for uh, for another season to begin. And let's talk about that for, for Presbyterian College. Chasing your second Big South title in three years. Uh, oh. What do you do tweaking or adjusting going into the season? What would you say is the overall outlook or, or expectation for PC? Well, get healthy. I think that's the first, uh, you know, first primary thing that we've done over the uh, break in the off season, uh, we dropped our last ten contests last year, which was really tough. But um, but a reality that uh, you know depth is necessary is something that I think all of us really struggle with uh, after our front line guys uh, for sure. Uh, but uh, we've got guys that are rehabilitated and, and uh, definitely working toward that. Um, we had uh, Daniel Egan, uh, who was one of our starters, young freshman that was really good last year for us early. Um, who was continuing to develop and and um, has has been on the mend and uh, he and a couple of others that uh, we're really anticipating them um, just adding a huge injection on the uh, either on the front end or the back end of that that rotation. So, you know, just excited about it. We've got some veteran uh, leadership as well. Uh, a couple of guys, um, some all conference performers from last year. Dalton Reeves, uh, left handed hitter, who's also a uh, um, one of our catchers and will platoon at first base and DH as well. And then also Duncan Howard uh, on the mound, really expecting uh, both he and Charlie McDaniel uh, to solidify us on the starting front. Well, let's talk about hitting first for a moment. And you mentioned Dalton Reeves. What are you expecting out of him as one of your top returning uh, hitters at the plate? And then who else is going to provide that kind of production? Dalton is an OPS guy for us. He is uh, his production. He's got power. He uh, definitely has doubles power, doubles gap, and and some home run power as well. Uh, a lot stronger. So really excited to see how that manifests into the numbers. Um, and he should hit three or four in our lineup. Additionally, uh, uh, Ryan Oots, uh, another uh, veteran who just expecting some more consistency out of him, but the potential is definitely there and having some experience in live at bats and um, also some seniors. I mean, uh, Kyle Merkel, uh, one of our um, seniors now, uh, first baseman who could potentially DH and, and platoon there as well. Uh, just someone who has added some experience and in our championship run in 2021 uh, was very valuable for us down the stretch. So um, really those guys as veterans, uh, Kyle Decker, we also have Brody Farr starting shortstop, left-handed hitter, and uh, Jay Weatherington, center fielder, all of those guys will factor into our lineup. And um, we just have to, you know, we, we're missing some power with Toth uh, being out of our lineup this year, uh, having transferred his fifth year. Uh, and so we're looking for additional production, but we may have to play a slightly different type uh, of ball. But we've got some guys that will put it in play. So, you know, with our approach, that should, should mess really well. Very good. And of course, batting is only part of the picture. So let's talk pitching for a second. You mentioned Duncan Howard earlier. What is his role going to be on the staff and and help flesh out that staff for us just a little bit? Yeah, Duncan Howard uh, should be uh, one or two in our uh, rotation. He's been number two for the last two years. Charlie McDaniel, both of those guys are juniors. And uh, Charlie has pitched in, in the number one role, uh, the left-hander. Uh, we may juggle that just a little bit. Duncan, I thought, uh, with the all-conference performance last year and, and uh, a tick up in velo and just uh, training and, and some different things he's done, uh, really deserves a shot at that number one spot and and uh, feel pretty strongly about that and the work that he's put in. Uh, but we've got two really good quality starters, we feel like, uh, and those two guys will give us a chance. Uh, but also uh, a transfer that's come in that we think will vie uh, with uh, who I mentioned earlier, Daniel Egan. Uh, potentially to be a, a weekend starter as well. Uh, his name is uh, Phoenix DiGiacomo uh, from Patrick Henry. Um, and and just the additional depth uh, we've got in the in the bullpen area, uh, Logan Imker, uh, uh, is spelled Y-M-K-E-R. So uh, we pronounce it Imker and, and he is, um, he was a back-to-back -back, uh, player of the pitcher of the week, uh, relief pitcher of the week in the conference last year. And then, uh, was had some setbacks with some illness and and then 
you know, he, so he was one of the guys down the stretch we were missing in addition to uh, Egan that I mentioned. So if you lose those types of arms, it, it does make a difference. So i uh, just happy to have him back. I think we'll be uh, pleasantly surprised. I think Tanner Smith could be a big piece as well on the back end. Uh, so we, we've got a, a lot of pieces as far as uh, what's kind of kind of shown up on the radar and, and through some great recruiting with uh, uh, my, my assistants have, have done. Well, we look forward to all that coming together. Now we know that you're going to have your share of challenges, as always, with the conference schedule being quite a gauntlet each year. But uh, what do you have in terms of non-conference schedule that folks should know about? Well, a non-conference schedule is going to open up with Georgetown. Georgetown, we're playing them at the USA Complex. Um, I, I was involved with USA this summer. Um, really uh, great experience overall and uh, just got to know a lot of good people up there. Edwin Thompson, uh, who's a good friend of mine, who also has connections with those guys. It's actually their home. It'll be their home games. Uh, so we're just looking forward to coming out of the gate, playing a very good Georgetown team that put up numbers last year. Uh, I think they hit over 100 home runs and, um, you know, obviously looking for some great things on their end. The competition doesn't stop. We come back and we, we've got Western Carolina in a tournament in the upstate um, with uh, two other members of the conference. Uh, in Upstate and Gardner-Webb, where we'll be playing uh, kind of a round robin with Toledo, uh, Northwestern, and Michigan State. And we've got Georgia midweek, Georgia State coming to us, uh, Western uh, uh, Western Michigan, uh, Clemson, uh, Eastern Kentucky. We'll travel to those guys. And then we've got South Carolina and Duke before we play a tough high point team to open conference. Well, you certainly have your hands full. We wish you uh, the best of luck, you and all the Blue Hose, with uh, with those games and everything this season, and uh, including your final preparations as we get ready for uh, for another year. So, Coach, thank you so much for your time. We look forward to seeing you in action this season. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate you doing it.